After running a bunch of Dells for the last two months, the time has finally come to make a tier list ranking all 12 Dells. I've decided to only have four ranks. My reasoning is that you either have fun doing content or you don't. And there is the highest delving deep rank is for Dells where I thought Blizzard nailed it. And just in case something felt really awful, I have an L tier to signify that it was miles below the standard Dells experience. And so the first delve we have is called Earthcrawl Mines, located on the Isle of Dorne. The gist of it is that miners were kidnapped from a nearby village and so we're here to rescue them. The delve has a good length, I think on average it took me around 11 minutes. Very obvious objectives, save miners and kill Nerubians, simple as that. Obviously there are other variations as well. And the boss is really hype as well. I like the fact that the room we fight the boss in plays an important role. There is a part of the fight where the boss blasts the web all around the room and only leaving four mine tracks you can stand on, but then pulls down a mine cart from one of those tracks and you have to dodge it. It's being one of the first elves you will encounter while leveling a good first impression of the elves, but it is missing that high factor to be put at the top rank. And so the good fun rank is a perfect place for it. Okay, second delf, Fungal Folly, another delf located on the Isle of Dorne. It has somewhat vertical layout and the overall vibes of it, you guessed it, are very mushroomy. The vertical platforms though are annoying to traverse around. There's a little space to avoid AOE. Brand gets stuck on different platforms quite often. There's also this gimmick in Fungal Folly, uh, exploding spores called spore bits. When you get within the circle, they explode damaging you and knocking back. And yes, you can fall off and die. But you can also use those spores to damage trash mobs. However, I'm not sure if it's worth it because it's so damn annoying. Now, Delve Boss Pinchroom is one of the redeeming factors of this Delve. It is a cool looking mushroom and a combination of AoE abilities with four bits, meaning it's a nightmare of a fight for melee classes. And while I'm trying to be positive, I think this delf needs some love from the devs before I can really enjoy it. And so it goes into needs improvement. The next delf is called Kriegel's Rest, the last of the three delfs located on the Isle of Dor. In a nutshell, its catacombs invaded by kobolds. The layout of the delf is pretty linear, Except for the last room, the delf doesn't look all that impressive. Just some tunnels with cobbles swarming around and very little light. Objectives didn't really resonate with me either. It, it was just some collect this, collect that. Uh, pretty boring. There is a zone mechanic though, uh, a candlelight that basically starts with 100 stacks and depletes as you move. Without it, you can't see further than a few yards. I am glad they're trying stuff, but it's not exciting enough. <laughs> There are also fire-breathing candles scattered around the rooms that are meant to make the movement harder, but end up being decorative and annoying more than anything. The boss of the Delph is called Tomb Raider Dry Whisker. Uh, it's okay ish boss, um, there's some AoE, some swirlies to dodge. He also grabs you periodically, which basically drops your candle and you have to grab a new one. So there's a little bit of interaction with this uh, zonal mechanic. Unfortunately, I was not impressed with this delve and I'm gonna put this into needs improvement. And on to my commander Cavern, located in the most beautiful zone of Hallowfall. This delve shares the mushroom theme together with Fungal Folly, but in comparison, it actually feels quite big. A combination of those vertical platforms and the fact that a different version of a delve take you on a different path. One of the objectives was to retrieve missing pigs for a farmer and I'm just wondering, is this really a job for a hero of Azeroth? The length of a delve felt okay, about the same as average, you know, 10-15 minutes. However, the coolest thing in the whole delve is a mushroom riding a salamander. The boss, Bogpiper, uh, is a swamp monster with a few simple mechanics. Uh, it fits the vibe and same as Pinchroom, there's plenty of moving and dodging to do and somehow I even liked it. But just as Fungal Folly, I cannot see myself wanting to do this delve many times over. Alright, the next delve is Nightfall Sanctum. It is located in a Hallowfall. Only positive things about this delve, it's a giant underground bandit's cave. You can see the whole delve as you enter, which immediately sets the vibes to a very positive. Now, the flying ships patrolling the area, we need to be avoiding their beacons or they bombard us. 
So we're sort of sneaking around the Delve. Really well thought out immersive experience. Because of this, the Delve length doesn't feel very long, even though it's about the same as any other. There's also one of the bosses of the Delve really impressed me. Uh, as we're fighting this cultist at the top of the main ship, he dies, but his rage summons something. And so we get an expected second phase on top of a burning ship. Really, really high. It's a solid Delve and I think many will enjoy it. So I'm gonna put it in good fun. Next up, Sinkhole, located in Hallowfall. And as you enter the Delve, as you might have guessed, you have to descend underwater. And it's one of the two delves that take place deep under. I really enjoyed the underwater vibes, especially when one of the versions has a huge kraken in the middle of a delve that you need to free from Kabis. So in that regard, the objective is very clear and sets up the mood nicely. If there's one thing that's going to drive people mad, it, it's zonal mechanic. To keep breathing, you need to look for the bubbles to get some air. I drowned so many times in here. I think they should add an alert warning you that you're low on air. Uh, otherwise, there'll be recourse to handle that sort of thing. And finally, the boss fights are simple in nature, but the breathing means you have to keep an eye on the bubbles, not to dry from drowning. And one of the bosses has tentacles you need to watch out for, so that's a bonus point. But if there's one thing that I would improve is cut down the length of a delve. At some point I thought I'm done, but there was this needless loop of looking for air bubbles and killing mobs to get to the boss. So, uh, but otherwise it's a solid delve and I'm gonna put it in good fun. It's Kitron Bridge. Uh, it's a forbidden Nerubin temple located in Ashkahed. So just entering the delve and looking around puts it at the top rank. The layout is pretty open and between enjoying the vibes of the zone and leading objectives it makes overall length feel quite short. The time you get to the boss, you're really feeling it. The boss fight is also one of my favorites. Uh, obviously with Nerubians and old gods involved, the boss has to be a faceless one, right? It's a really cool fight. I also really like the side pass you can explore. Really makes you feel the work developers put into it. So yeah, Skidron Bridge is uh, delving deep for me. Right, Takrithan Abyss. Located in Ashkahed, it's a second underwater delve which means cool underwater vibes, although I think it's a bit more brighter and visually pleasing than the sinkhole. Now, the layout is also simpler than the sinkhole. You're basically moving around the ledge and the length is pretty average. Now, I've had different experiences with objectives uh, between different versions of the style, but the size of the zone kind of meant you're done by the time you get to the boss anyway. Boss fight is also top notch. I'm a sucker for big boss room with clean textures, right? Uh, there's two simple mechanics to dodge something and frontal. Frontal for some reason can be kick or just sidestep. And there are these cool polyops that, you know, come out of the ground and you have to dodge. So yeah, uh, it, it's pretty cool boss fight. Also same to sinkhole, you have added difficulty of the breathing, it means you have to keep up with the air bubbles. Even though zone mechanics can be annoying, overall I think Blizzard has done a great job with the stealth. And for me, it's slightly better than the sinkhole, which kind of puts it in delving deep. All right, and the Dread Pit. One of the two delves located in the ringing dips, this simple delve actually does just that. Uh, it, it's just simplicity, right? I, I don't have a lot to say about it. Uh, it's a well-rounded delve, right? It's short, simple, to the point. It's a pit, as you can see, when you enter. And while the vibes are not epic, there's something dreadful about the pit I find appealing. Uh, the boss fight is also simple and effective. The objectives are average. Uh, you complete them well under 10 minutes. And while a lot of people might find this delve plain, it's the simplicity is the reason I put it in good fun. Right, Spiral Weave, another Nerubian delve located in Ashkahed. I'm a fan of all Nerubian zones and you already know where this is going. I like that there's this mysterious music playing. as we were investigating what's happening in this place. I think the size of the delve is on the larger side, but the well-placed mobs and objectives ensure it doesn't take too long to complete. The objectives are decent. In one of the versions of the delve, we're rescuing kidnapped prisoners that are being controlled by this puppet master. And basically we end up fighting the, you know, the puppet master with a question mark, and which is actually turns out to be again, mind control mobs and we never see the puppet master himself and i'm you know curious will they ever face the puppet master hopefully one day so yeah uh i think this is another delve in deep tier so underkeep another ashka had delve 
it feels all the elves in this zone are just on another level. So Underkeep is some sort of Nerubian lab where the ongoing experiments are in violation of human rights and we're there to put an end to it. It has a multi-directional layout. Depending on the version of zone, you only go really via one route, which is really, really good. Uh, the objectives are pretty quick. In fact, one version of the Underkeep is probably the quickest of all delves. There's like two rooms and then the boss fight. Now, the music environment really set the vibes of the place as, as you're doing the delve. And at the end, we get these two incredible versions of the same boss called Venkites. In one version of the fight, these frost crystals are engaged across the room and periodically, the boss is empowered by them. At which point, you have to get the hell away from him and do not touch deadly beams. The other version is poison crystals, similar pattern. Boss gets empowered, we move away. The colors are green instead of, you know, white but both versions look really really epic it's this awesome use of a boss room that earns underkeep a spot at the top of my tier list and on to the last delve the waterworks it's located in the ringing dips now it's a massive catacomb like delve it has a linear layout the massive rooms obnoxious objectives too many mobs to kill to get through it one particular mob, uh, it's like a lead cobalt task finder, has heavy hitting melee attacks that you just have to avoid. Uh, maybe that was just tuning. It has a zonal mechanic similar to Kriegel's Rest, but instead of candlelight, uh, you have to carry its air purifier because the, you know, the toxic fumes. And if you deplete or drop the air purifier, your health starts to go down. And while dealing with a bunch of mobs that you kind of have to kite all the time, it's becoming really rotating. Uh, so yeah, not very impressive zone-wise, linear repeating tunnels. If you have a stealth ability or in this, do you actually can skip some of it? But for classes without it, yeah, you'll be doing this for a very long time. But yeah, longest delve in terms of the length so far. Delve boss wax face does a lot of AOE damage for some reason. So either you have to bring killer brand or make a good use of defenses. Unfortunately, in my opinion, this delve is pretty minimal. So Waterworks end up being the only delve in the L rank. And that's all 12 delves. Uh, for the first iteration, I think Blizzard has done a great job with the delves. I think there's a good spread of delves with different vibes and you know aesthetics and objective and everyone will find at least four to five delves they will really enjoy. I try to be objective in my ranking, but at the end of the day, this is my tier list. So if you have a different favorite delves, let me know down in the comments. And that's it from me. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day and see you in the next one.